Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. What a fight. Alexander Usyk, undisputed champion, first undisputed champion in a generation, the first since Lennox Lewis. So it's been a long time between drinks and it was a fantastic fight. This was a close one, split decision win to Usyk, 115-112. 114 113 and 113 114 and really it was a knockdown that seemed to be the difference you had tyson fury on skates in round nine and we'll talk about this because there was wild momentum swings in this fight and i think there's going to be on both sides of the divide maybe some some unhappy fans and i've seen scorecards all over the place so i can see the different scorecards because the first couple of rounds very tight uh, and then obviously the 12th round, I found that one hard to score. But after that point, a lot of the rounds were relatively easy to score because you had Tyson Fury basically from round three onwards, figuring out the range and round four, round five, and especially round six, he was in control. He was winding up. It was the momentum with Fury. He was hurting Usyk. It looked after um, round six that this was Tyson Fury's fight to lose. And it was. He had Usyk in trouble. He'd hurt him to the body and head in that round. But what we had in round seven was Usyk changing the fight, coming out saying, I'm going to take over this fight. You could see the bounce in his step. And Alexander Usyk did have a good round seven, had an even better round eight where he really sort of turned things on its head. And it was round nine, a big left hand, which had Tyson Fury halfway to the shadow realm. And I guess for Usyk fans, they'll be saying, why didn't the referee stop the fight? Because Fury's legs were not just gone. He was barely able to stand up and it was the ropes that held him up on about three different sides of the ring. Although the referee did end up giving Fury a count and that was the end of the round. So probably lucky it wasn't earlier in the round because he probably would have been stopped there and then. But Fury's powers of recovery were on display in round 10. He came out, obviously it ended up being a use round pretty comprehensively, but he didn't take too much damage and he managed to start to get back a little bit into the fight and by round 12, he was starting to put it back on Usyk. It was a seesaw last round and you could probably argue that um, that round if Fury had, have had maybe better success, perhaps he would have got the decision. I had Fury up big after um, six rounds. My card, and I posted this on Twitter, after 10 rounds, it was five rounds apiece with Usyk um, having the, the knockdown in his favor. So it ended up for me being a two-round fight. And I think Usyk won the 11th and the 12th. Well, that was really hard to score. But those early couple of rounds, also hard to score. I saw a lot of people online, different scores. Some people had Usyk uh, maybe 1-1 one, one, or Fury 2-0 two, two, uh, two, or Usyk 2-0. So it was kind of a little bit of what you liked. But those early rounds, back and forth, the jab and the body shots were really something that was big for Fury as he started to wind up. And uh, for Usyk later on, it was the looping left hand around the guard. And Tyson Fury probably as hurt as I've ever seen him. But it was a fight that delivered. I think with this sort of fight, with these guys who can be very technical, there was the potential that they would sort of blunt each other and maybe it wouldn't deliver. But, you know, we saw the best of both guys at different spots in this fight. And obviously, Alexander Usyk, who's proven to be a second half fighter before coming on strong, getting a second wind, we saw it again. And this is what carried him to the undisputed championship in this fight. So full credit to both guys for delivering what, what was an action-packed, drama-filled, undisputed fight. I'm just glad it didn't end up being a boring snooze fest. We got drama and we're going to get it all again. After the fight, Tyson Fury, not very happy adamant that he won the fight he said i believe i won that fight and then he did actually go on to say i think there was something that was maybe a bit uncalled for uh, and not fair uh, people are siding with a country at war 
I think they were siding with that Usyk did some better work, especially in the second half of the fight. And if Fury hadn't have found himself uh, getting a count, he might have won that fight. But he said he wants to run it back in October. And when it was asked, uh, Frank Warren was asked about uh, an immediate uh, rematch, um, Fury, um, he said it's up to Tyson Fury. And Fury said, yes, I want an immediate rematch. And Usyk to that said, of course, he wants the rematch too. Usyk's uh, quote from it, first one was great time, great day. And uh, his manager, Alexander Krajewicz, actually said that the referee stole a KO in the ninth. And I think a lot of other fights, even if this was just a unification because uh, Fury was on skates and he was not in a good state at all, I don't think you could have complained if the referee had jumped in. But with the magnitude of the occasion, you know, I wasn't too mad at it. It, it was what it was. Uh, ultimately, Usyk went on, he got the win. So does that sort of become, you know, newspaper wrapper conversation? You know, if, if he hadn't have got the win, if Fury had ended up getting the decision there, I think it would have been a much bigger point. But I can understand the dilemma that the referee was in. Ultimately, Alexander Usyk did enough, swept pretty much the second half of the fight, took over from, what was it, round seven, and obviously did the damage the, uh, the gap tooth uh, middleweight put the hurt on Tyson Fury and uh, almost stopped him in round nine. I mean, who would have thought? I think one thing that I would say about this is Tyson Fury's gas tank, you know, he was exerting a lot of movement. He's 35 years old now. He came in lighter, and obviously that was to counteract Alexander Usyk's style. But I think that the all the effort and the energy that he was exerting started to catch up with him after that sixth round. And there was especially from round four and round six, moments where Fury was showboating and wasting some energy that probably he needed a little bit later on. But, you know, he, it's, in the, it's in the books now. Maybe he wouldn't do that in the second fight. They are talking about the rematch for October. I'm really happy to see it all again. What did you make of this fight? What do you make of Tyson Fury's comment that he believes he won the fight? How did you score this one? Do you agree with me that the first couple of rounds... You know, it, it was tight. Probably the rounds on different cards are going to be all over the place. And what, who did you give round 12 to? What's your scorecard? Do you think this is controversial? I think some Fury fans are going to be arguing, saying that Tyson Fury won that and uh, probably should have won it by a couple of rounds. I think if you give all the sort of close rounds to Fury, yeah, you can give him the win. But obviously, um, you know, didn't happen in the end. The judges did not agree apart from one. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.